Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So now I'm back. I haven't been filming for a while and I got my other glasses on because I felt like it and yeah, I have no makeup, messy hair in a bun and yeah, I was thinking of I have a little tea and a little treat if oh, this little treat and some tea and I was thinking, because I need to upload this video today, and I'm also filming it today, and I had like no idea on what I wanted to do, but then I remembered I have been watching a lot of series, and I'm gonna be speaking about a few of my favorites, and I'm gonna pick out my favorite or top actors in them, uh, and explain why. And I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> and all of these actors like inspire me in some way. So the TV series I'm gonna be talking about, you can find like three of them on Netflix and the other ones, I don't know where, but yeah. The first series I'm gonna be watching, I just finished watching it like a few days ago. It's actually Greenhouse Academy. It's a really fun high school series where you can follow a sister and brother who starts in the same school and there's some weird stuff happening at that school and yeah they like start in that school because of like their mom's death and they want to offer her up three act actors in that one or like in the main characters in the series and it's in no particular order but the first one is Hayley Woods who is played by Ariel Mortman I think I've never seen her act until now but she seems like a great actress and I really love her character Hayley Woods in the series I can kind of I mean I don't know if I can relate to her, but she's a fun, quirky, sarcastic person who I enjoy watching. The next one is Finn Roberts. Uh, he plays Alex Woods in the series, and Alex Woods is brother to Haley. And he's part of the Eagles in the series. Those who have watched the series know exactly what I know. And I love actually the Eagles. And yeah, by the way, the main thing about Greenhouse Academy is that there are different houses, two different main ones, that are competing against each other. But he's like a caring person who always looks up for his sister. And then there's last but not least, like my number one favorite is Chris O'Neill who plays Dan Daniel Hayard and he looks good, he seems funny even as in real life because I did watch one of his lives and he seems like a fun person, someone who, like all of these people I'm gonna mention, I wish I could meet them someday and I don't know, hopefully act against them, that would be awesome. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm gonna take a tea pause. No, but what I love about this series is like, I wish I would found it sooner. And I hope that they will have another season, because otherwise it ended in a cliffhanger. And I'm not gonna be enjoying that. Number two is Orphan Black. If someone asked me to recommend a series, I will always oh, if someone asked me to recommend a series, it will always be Orphan Black. Like one of the main people, or she's one of she's the main person in the series. It it's the actor Tatiana Maisley. I've never heard of her until Orphan Black. I haven't seen her in other shows yet, but I'm gonna look up to what she does otherwise because she plays multiple characters in the series, like different clones, and she does it so good. When I started watching it, I didn't understand that she played all those roles. I thought 
they maybe made them computerized or that they just found someone who was like a really good lookalike of her but yeah I'm so amazed I wanna try something like that someday maybe as an actor it seems hard but also like fun to play multiple characters in a TV show <laughs> then we have Beauty and the Beast and Burden of Truth um, but Beauty and the Beast is the main one there we have Christine Cook and she plays a daughter um, a cop uh, she lost her mother and she's gonna investigate what happened uh, because she saw this beast and no one believes her and she's gonna try and figure out why the, if what she saw is real and yeah it's a love story, like about forbidden love, kinda, but I really enjoy that series. Back to Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I don't know, I enjoy like the love Vincent and Kat has in that series and to follow their love story, but I was kind of disappointed at the ending, even though it was a good ending in the end. But I wish they would have come with just one more season or a few episodes more to wrap it up but I'm gonna always be loving that series and have it nearby my heart and then there is The Hundred and I love all the main cast also in The Hundred uh, but two of the main people I enjoy watching a little bit more in that series is Ricky Whittle the few seasons he was in and also Marie, Marie, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but I enjoyed watching their love story on that series. And even when they ended that part of the story, like when they yes, stopped shooting about their love story and stuff, I still enjoy watching Marie in that series. She's a great actress, she's a warrior. And both of them are like fighters in that series. Um, yeah, they are like really great and inspire me to become a better actress. And like every one of these, like every person I mentioned in this video, I'm, I'm gonna try and get inspiration from them. And whenever I get acting jobs, I will take what I've learned from them, uh, seeing them like act and take it into my life and I have actually met Ricky Whittle in real life that's like yeah so crazy I went to Comic Con one year just to check it out what it was and also because I wanted to really meet him and I got to meet him I got an autograph from him and yeah we had a long chat I even took a picture and I spoke about my dreams and goals and he said just go for it everything will take time you will actually you will make it if you believe in yourself and that was really something inspiring to hear from someone I really look up to like I wish I'm so <laughs> I wish someday we could maybe act together I don't know but that's one of my like biggest moments in life was actually to meet him and I was fangirling so hard, I remember I was supposed to go up to him, but I was so nervous, I was unsure if I'm gonna do it or if I'm too shy. But then I just did it and I'm ha so happy I actually made it, because those type of moments doesn't come often. I don't know, you can also comment if you have any, any favorite series or movies and actors that inspires you. These are only a few ones and there are so many more great actors and actresses out there. But yeah, and by the way, Ricky Widow is in a series called American Gods. I haven't watched it, I was supposed to start watching it, but if you know where to watch it, comment down below because I want to know, because yeah, I want to see him in that, because I've only seen him in the hundred, so yeah, I think that was all. But yeah, these are like a few people that, that inspires me at the moment. And I'm gonna try and look up what other things they do 
what other projects they do because they are great in these movies because I haven't seen them I haven't seen them in other ones so yeah I think that was all maybe yeah that was all if you enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up comment something down below and subscribe if you're new because i want to make this channel grow and my main goal is to reach maybe a hundred subscribers in the end of this year or sooner but hoping that you guys want to subscribe to this channel and take part of my journey and my thoughts and yeah until next time take care bye No, but they are really great actors. I wish I could like be friends with them or get to know them because they seem really great. <laughs> this is why I want to go to LA so bad because most of them like hang around in LA. That's where many actors have their main ground. <laughs> Even though Stockholm is great, but there aren't so many big people who are here like that are international or what I know of. <laughs>